Hi, I'm going to show you how to do wireless scoring with ProScore software. Wireless scoring simply means you control or you do the scoring with a remote control, like that, or a mobile phone or your tablet. So to do it, just double click the ProScore software icon on your computer. And when you see this launch screen, there should be some numbers or address on the top right corner. So if you look at those numbers here, which is um, specific to your computer, you use a mobile phone or your tablet to connect to the ProScore software. So in this example, I'll key in the same address as written here. So when I go to that page, I'll see like a launch menu as well. So this menu allows me to control or to do the scoring with my mobile phone. And also there is a live view scoreboard which I can check the current score on my phone. So let's go to the remote control. If I click the top button, it will take me to this screen here. So this looks like a remote control with a remote live view of the scoreboard. And this comes from the ProScore computer. So let's enter the scoreboard. So I'll just enter the usual names and numbers here, like player. So player names, I'll enter something like uh, Peter. And the name of the second player, if you want to do that. And go match. Now, if you look at my phone, you will see that the names on this remote scoreboard get updated with the same names here. Now, on this remote control, there are a few buttons which you need to know how they work. So the top row is C, E, F, M. So four buttons on the top row. And there are other buttons down below as well. I'm not going to explain you know, the functions of these buttons here. If you want to know how these buttons work, check out my other videos. But for now, I'll just start a frame and end a frame so I can show you how the basic wireless scoring works with a remote device. So now, to start the frame clock, I'll press the C button. So the C button is right here. So I press C. And you see here, on this re uh, ProScore computer, the clock is now running. And we have a green banner on top of this live score scoreboard. So now the clock is running, the players play the games. And to switch player, you press the P button here like that. So every time you press the button, it switches the player. So it tells you which player is on the table. So to score a game, surely you would press the color ball on the remote control like that. So red ball, now followed by say a pink ball. And red again. And say he finished the break, so you go to the second player. So just like that. So you can keep scoring with this method, which is very handy. So you don't have to come close to the computer every time when you want to add scores. Let's say this player made a foul shot, so he's going to give away, let's say, four points to the other player. And to do that, you will have to push the F button followed by four pawns. So the foul button is here, the F. So I press the F button once. So it's now in foul mode. Oh, sorry, I touched the screen. So F button, and I'll press the number of pawns to be awarded, which is in this case, let's say four pawns. So I touch the brown ball here. So it adds four pawns to the opponent right here. 
So, in case this player who decided to go for a free ball, so how do you do it? Um, the foul and free ball is the same button, so it's the F button. So, if you press the F button twice, it takes you to free ball mode. Oh, I'm sorry, I touched that again. So it takes you to free ball mode, and this player is going to attempt one of the color balls here. And if he succeeded in potting a color ball, he gets one point, because there are still red balls on the table. So let's say he pot the color ball, we are going to give him one point for that. So I touched that red button, so that added a free ball to this player. And he is going to play the next ball, which is of course a color ball. So let's say he put a black after that. So I press the black ball button, same as this one here, and it adds seven points. So this is how you do the foul shot and the free ball. And in case you made a mistake, and you want to go back to the previous step. Um, there is a simple way to do it, is to touch this E button. E means you made an error and you want to undo it. So I touch the E button and you see how the score changes. And if you want to go back a few more steps, just touch the E again and again and again and it will just keep going back one step at a time so in theory you can undo as many steps as you like to the very beginning of the frame now let's say we have a winner and we are going to end this frame so this frame will finish and we will go on to the next frame and to do that we have to go to the winners page. So we are going to touch this W button on my phone. And you see here, this is the page summary. And now it's waiting for my confirmation that this frame is ended. If I came here by mistake, I will touch the W button again to go back to the scoreboard. But now, since I decided there is a winner on this frame, so I'll go to the W button and touch the green ball button. On the remote control, the only green ball button is the three points button. So I'll touch this green button and see here, the frame is ended and we have a winner. So one frame has been awarded to the right hand player and the clock and the rest of the scoreboard has been reset. And even the ball counts here, they are all reset. So the next frame is ready to start. To start again, you touch the C button to start the clock. And of course, you can score the games with your mobile phone like that quite easily. Now, the other thing you might want to know is to add scores by the total break points. That means you enter the total break points when the break is finished. The advantage of this is that you don't have to add a ball every time a port is finished. So you can wait until the whole break is finished. Then you add the total number of points onto the scoreboard. And to do that with a remote control like this mobile phone, you will have to go to the second page because there are so many buttons here already. So you go to the next page, which is the direct score entry page. It looks pretty much the same. But um, now this is what's different is that you enter the total break points with this second screen. Okay, so we press the red button as that says direct entry. And you see how this change here is that it comes up with a keypad. But since I'm using a mobile phone, I'll enter the total points on my mobile phone. So let's say the player he made a break of 34 points. So I press 3 and 4 and add points and see how the scoreboard changes when I do that. 34 points has been added to this player and now it's the next player's turn with his game. So 
on this second page, you do all the like the total breakpoint entry right here with the screen here. And at some point in time, say you want to go back to the first page, so you end you add the points, you know, a ball at a time. You will touch this back button that takes you back to the original remote menu or the remote buttons page and then you can add the score one point or one ball at a time I should say you see how the I'm um, how this um, is updated as I push these buttons okay so um, to end this frame let's say we have a winner and which is of course is the first player so we remember how we do how we do it um, we press the W button and now we confirm that this frame is ended so we press the green ball the three point button so now we are one all and um, that's um, what you need to know for basic remote scoring um, if you have time hang on for a little while I'll tell you about the menu um, there is a menu in ProScore software where you can access a range of different features or functions such as reset match, re -rack, and a lot of other functions. To access the menu from your mobile phone you press the M button. M stands for menu. So we are on the menu here and um, to go up and down the menu um, you would, normally you have to press the up and down arrow on the keyboard but the mobile phone I have here he hasn't got those keys so we have to use the, some color keys to make that work so on the menu page we use the black ball as the down button and the yellow ball as the up button and to confirm a selection you press the green ball button so on this menu, if I want to go down, I press the black ball button one step at a time and if I want to go back up the menu, I'll press the yellow ball button so let's say we want to um, re rank I would go down one step and to select this, uh, um, this, op this option so I'll press the green ball button then it takes me to go to the confirmation page so I press the black ball to go down one step and then I press the green ball button to execute the function so to use the menu is very simple but you, you need to know that the black ball serves as a down arrow function and the yellow ball serves as a up arrow function and the green ball would be the select or enter button